Hi everybody, Joey Cummings here uh, at the top of Mount Alava in American Samoa. This transmitter site is home to KKHJ FM. It is uh, on the mountaintop above Pongo Pongo Harbor, which we can't show you right now because it is socked in with clouds. We're about 1,610 feet above sea level, and we have spent the last hmm, three hours getting here. Uh, 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 ascending to the top of Mount Alava is is no, uh, it is non-trivial, let's put it that way. Uh, similar to cresting Mount Everest, it requires uh, three different base camps and uh, a multitude of guys. You can see Ula here, and we got Ray, we got Rich, and about 200 pounds of equipment. Today's job is uh, twofold. We're going to replace, uh, finish replacing an antenna for uh, KVPP, and we're going to replace a transmitter for KKHJ, which is the subject of today's video. Uh, this arrived uh, semi-recently from Broadcast Electronics. Uh, it is a, a Lenos 500 watt uh, unit, and uh, it is my first rodeo dealing with one of these units. Now, I did pull it out of the box, but I wanted you to see the uh, the second unboxing. We, we we checked it out whenever it first arrived to make sure there was no shipping damage, and also to attach its power cord and just generally check the thing out. But I wanted you to see, this is the real reason for the video, this excellent packing job. Whenever you come so far to bring a transmitter to a transmitter site, you want that transmitter, especially if it's on an ATV, up a very, very uh, like three and a half mile uh, unpaved Jeep trail, you wanna make sure that the the unit gets there and it gets there safely. So we have an outer box, a uh, spray foam uh, uh, insert, yeah. and then we have the inner box. And my, is this not a good looking box? It sure is. Then, 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 we, have to, then we have to pull out the, uh, the inner box and look, my, 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 look at, look at that. That's just a great looking pack job. And, uh, Mr. Benjamin Hampton is. Now look at all of these cardboard inserts. Corrugated cardboard has never received such a treatment. Look at these stacked on end for maximum rigidity, glued together. That is probably glued together with hot glue. So uh, all of these pieces carefully cut to make sure that nothing moved or bounced around unduly in the transportation process. You know, we're in American Samoa. It took a trip of uh, approximately six to 7,000 miles just to get this transmitter from Quincy, Illinois to American Samoa here, 14 degrees below the equator. So let's take out some of these inserts here. And wow, just look, all of that precision cut. Somebody really thought out this cardboard package. Sides come out first. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll bring, we'll bring this out. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and take out. Look at that. There we go. She's pretty. Yes, she is. Now, she's already been labeled up. We like our P Touch labels. And uh, whenever we label something on the front, you know we need to label it on the back. And we've also went ahead and attached a, a power cable. And uh, in this case, it came with a uh, uh, 7 8 den connector and we've got a uh, uh, we put a an adapter on here to go down to a, an in this particular antenna system has a uh, half inch coax so anyway I, 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 is that it arrived safe and sound uh, we might even go through the the whole satisfying uh, ritual of uh, peeling off ooh. <laughs> oh oh Oh, oh my goodness. So nice. Oh, oh, oh my. Right. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you know, I might need a private moment alone <laughs> with, with all of this plastic cling wrap. That, that is just feeling so good. And uh, it's home here atop Mount Lava. It's ready to receive it. And uh, there you go. I uh, just wanted to give you give you the, the full scoop on what's going to happen with this new uh, Elenos transmitter. And it'll go right there. 
Although it's uh, it's a Bex Big Brother, a 1300 watt Big Brother, and uh, we'll probably give you a follow up shot whenever it's in and running. Thanks, guys. Well, it's uh, some hours later, and your uh, intrepid mountain crew here has been at it for many hours, uh, going on 10 now, and uh, we're wrapping up a really successful day. So hello to Mr. Benjamin Hampton. He was your cameraman, and uh, make sure you you check out his podcast, The Hope Factor. We'll leave a link. And um, you wanted to see the new uh, Elenos is uh, humming along really well. Uh, we strapped some keys. Uh, these keys are the ones that uh, toggle between local and remote operation. Currently, we're uh, humming along at a uh, pretty 500 watts. No reflected power. So the... Uh, Transmission line antenna still must be in good shape. Always glad to hear that. And I gotta say, something I did not expect, uh, just based on experience with many other transmitters, this thing is whisper quiet. Uh, when we first turned it on, I just said, okay, I'll just run it up to 100 watts to see how everything uh, goes. I, I was like, when is it gonna turn on? It was on. Uh, I, I just, no fan noise. Even whenever I powered it up to the full 500 watts, uh, it barely got louder than that. So um, the little 500 watt uh, Elnos units, very cute transmitter and uh, certainly capable. We look forward to seeing how it performs going forward. Well, uh, as the tower crew wraps it up for the day. Yeah. Hey guys, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're gonna take all our stuff and uh, get home before all of the uh, all of the bats go and roost for the day. And we'll leave you with a beautiful view of Pongo Pongo Harbor. It really makes it worth it, doesn't it? All right, I'm Joey. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Tofa soy fua. That's goodbye in Samoan. <laughs>